In this tutorial, we'll introduce photographers who are used to working in Adobe Photoshop to the world's most powerful natural media software application, Corel Painter 11, available for both Mac OS X and Windows, changing what's possible in art. Corel Painter 11 is the ultimate digital art studio for anyone ready to expand their definition of creativity. Working with the most advanced digital painting and natural media tools available, you can create the art you've always envisioned. Painter 11 allows you to start with an existing image file, and by using its amazing cloning and auto-painting features, coupled with the power of Painter's infinitely customizable cloner brushes, create unique artistic interpretations of your original images. While there are indeed other software applications and plugins like Photoshop and Topaz, which allow you to process your entire image using albeit sophisticated filters, no other digital art application allows you to incorporate the stroke of the human hand, your hand, into your work the way the painter does. Applying Photoshop's adjustable artistic paint daubs filter to a photograph, for example this photo of some beautiful houses in San Francisco, it looks really good, almost predictably good. If you were to apply the same filter to 10 different images, there would be a degree of similarity between the images given that they were all processed through the same filter. It gets to the point where if you see an image artistically filtered with Photoshop, you can tell that it's been Photoshopped. Painter 11 takes this entire notion miles further by allowing you to define a source image by opening an image and then going to the file menu and selecting Quick Clone, which in this case opens up a new file with a blank canvas. The canvas, however, is always linked to that source image, so you can see a faded version of your source on the canvas, which is simply tracing paper, initiated by default, and you can deactivate that here. But whether you have tracing paper on or off, your clone image is still linked to the underlying source material. In Painter, a quick clone helps you apply the state-of-the-art natural media to your images by allowing you to paint on the clone image using Painter's vast library of customizable cloner brushes. I've chosen the Oil Brush Cloner variant from the Cloner's Brush category, and I'm starting with a fairly large brush size of 55. It uses the color and pixel information of the original image funneled through your brush onto the new canvas. The major difference with using these techniques in Painter, however, is that you are making the individual brush strokes. You decide the brush size. In short, you do the work using your own aesthetic and your own style as your guide. Tracing paper is helpful because it can help me move with the original lines of the image, allowing the bristles of my chosen brush to show a sense of directionality. If I turn tracing paper off by clicking the tracing paper icon here, you'll see that this large oil brush cloner has given me very broad strokes and very detailed bristle marks in my oil paint. I can switch to a smaller brush size easily, either by tapping the left square bracket key several times, or just clicking on the size option in the options bar and choosing 15. Now I'll turn tracing paper back on to continue to guide my strokes, and I'll draw in some more of the detail that I need to make this image come into greater definition. You can always change up your cloner brush style midstream and add some additional textures and approaches to your piece. There are literally an infinite number of possibilities when using AutoClone to define a source image and then use Painter's tools to use the information from that clone source to paint or draw on a completely unique clone destination. The standard photo touch-up technique of using the clone and stamp tools are here as well, just as you might use in Photoshop. Choose the clone stamp tool from the tool panel, and then hold down your Alt key on Windows or Option on the Mac to sample a region of your image adjust your brush, and paint away. If you'd like to bring back or restore some of the detail from the original source image to your new image, you can use the restoration panel here and select a hard edged, or in this case, I'll choose the soft edge restoration cloner, adjust my brush size, and bring a little more detail from this area of my image back into view. There is another fascinating use of the auto-clone modality in Painter 11. Let me open up a new photograph and then look to the auto-painting panel. If it's not visible, you can go to Window, Auto-Painting to bring it up, and then choose from the Smart Stroke Brush category, a brush variant. I'm gonna choose Chalk Soft, but you could choose any combination from the list or the library. And in the auto-painting panel, check these two boxes at the top, Smart Stroke Painting and Smart Settings. 
You can of course leave these smart checkboxes off if you'd like to customize and manually set your pressure, length, rotation, and brush size. But Painter is very smart when it comes to auto painting and you might want to see what it delivers before experimenting with this function manually. Now all I have to do is click on the play button and enjoy the show. Tracing paper is still on and if I'd like I can turn it off can press stop in the auto painting panel and then turn off tracing paper and then resume my auto painting by just pressing play once more and sit back and watch or maybe grab a coffee as this process happens just like it would with a person drawing on the canvas while switching to smaller and smaller brush sizes to bring in more and more detail it can take several minutes to conclude you can always stop the auto painting early if you like the current results when you're done painting with Auto Clone or using the Smart Stroke painting function in the Auto Painting panel, you can always take your image further by adding other elements, such as from Painter's Text tool. Notice that it's automatically created a new layer for me in the Layers panel. I'll select my text here and click on the canvas to type some text. And then select again and change the font from the Font menu in the Options bar. I can add a drop shadow and specify the color and opacity of the shadow here and select the layer adjuster to click and drag my layer into position. You can also switch off the cloning function simply by clicking the cloner icon in the bottom right of the color picker to allow you to select a new color, let's choose black, and switch to any of Painter's brush categories and variants. I'll choose pen and scratchboard tool, and then continue drawing on the image, independent of the cloning or auto painting process adding any sort of detail you'd like with any of Painter's various natural media. When I'm ready to save, I can choose File, Save As, and I can choose to save as the RIF file format, which is Painter 11's native document format, as a PSD if I would like to take the image over into Photoshop or any of these other common file formats. For those experienced using Photoshop, as well as those creative folks coming to the digital art medium for the first time, Corel is changing what's possible in your art, and it's as easy as installing Painter 11 on your Windows or Macintosh computer. Thanks for watching.